my first guest, Therese Marzella, has written an incredible book. I told you about it a little while ago. It's entitled Extraordinary Miracles in the Lives of Ordinary People. This book documents over 50 miracles that God performed in the lives of ordinary people just like you. Yet, what is so amazing is that while writing this book, Therese was going through one of her own extraordinary health problems. I want you to take a look at this. Several years ago, the Lord had given me explicit instructions about writing this book to document His miracles. He said He wanted me to collect exactly 50 stories from around the world. He said that He would divinely connect me with the ones that He had chosen for this project. That some of the miracles that were to be a part of this book had not yet taken place. He said that through the birthing of this book, He was going to bring me to a deeper intimacy with Him. Although that was good news, what I didn't realize is that intimacy he was going to come through the most intense season of suffering I've ever experienced in my life. After having a, a life of excellent health, I started having severe migraine headaches. I had debilitating fatigue, which paralyzed my life. I had a, these little bottles of shampoo that I would use in the morning. Even to lift that up to wash my hair was a great challenge for me. Or to lift my hands in praise and worship even for a short time truly was a sacrifice of praise because I, I had such weakness in my arms. I was diagnosed with a thyroid disorder and I had a sleep disorder which caused me to have 35 awakenings every hour during the night and in the midst of all of those things my father was dying of cancer in Minneapolis in Psalm 34 19 it says a righteous man will have many trials this was just something I had to walk through as I was fulfilling God's purpose so here while I was experiencing all of this suffering I was interviewing people around the world about these wondrous miracles God was doing so here I was hearing all these miracle stories, but I myself had a great need for many miracles. I had a, a, a great deal of prayer going up on my behalf. I was receiving prayer from a number of ministries around the world. The very day the book arrived at my house, I was absolutely in awe that God could have birthed that project through me, through such a such a season of, of such suffering in my life when I really was not able to do much of anything. The very next day on April 12th, I received my miracle. It changed me forever. I am very well aware of Morris Sorello's ministry and I am so excited about it. I have been praying for years that God would open avenues around the world for his miracles to be proclaimed. And Morris Sorello's program does that exact thing. Will you please welcome with me Therese Marzalet. We are so excited to have you on the program. So I want to welcome you to Helpline. Thank you very much. And you your book here. is exciting. And uh, I know it's going to be a great blessing. And uh, it's just been released a few months ago. Yes, in April 2007. What gave you the inspiration to write this book? Well, for many, many years, I was frustrated because if you open the newspaper, turn on the news, turn oh. on the radio, you hear hopeless and more hopelessness. You hear about war and crime, the deterioration of the family, so much hopelessness. Terrible. But at the same time, in the midst of all of that, God is doing remarkable miracles in our midst. But unfortunately, those miracles don't are get, rarely reported. They don't get on the television. Right. And I pounded the gates of heaven for a long time about that subject. And sometimes when we complain, we get to be part of the answer. Well, and the Lord had given me Psalm 145, verse 6, that says, They will tell of the power of your awesome works, and I will proclaim your great deeds. And that was a personal mandate from heaven to me. I received that as a directive from, from heaven to go around and document these miracles. Because as we share these miracles of what God is doing in our midst, people find hope. And they need to hear that hope. That's right. Faith. That's right. This really is nice. 
And, and that's in the book. Yes, it is. Extraordinary miracles in the lives of ordinary people. Yes. You had 40 years of almost perfect health. Yes. And then all of a sudden, something struck your life, struck your body. Tell us about it. Well, I, I was very used to perfect health, and when I started documenting miracles, I started having all kinds it of It started when problems. you started it writing did. the book it and did. going out and documenting Absolutely. These. I had a wide range of health problems. I was in pain every single day. Well, this actually lasted exactly five years to the month. People need to know that sometimes when they go through these circumstances and difficulties in their life, that God wants to use them yes. to draw them closer yes. to himself. That's really what was going on in your life, Absolutely. wasn't it? Absolutely. Well, and I can tell you, when I was about halfway bet in between this five-year season, I had a dream that the Lord gave me. It was very brief, so I'll share it. In the yeah. dream, I was in an audience listening to a speaker, and she only said one thing. She patted her heart, and with the deepest emotion, she said, my father loves me. <laughs> he loves me. Yeah. And I sat in the audience looking at her, and I thought, what does that mean? What would that feel like to know that my father loved me? It was as if she was speaking a foreign language. But at the same time, I didn't understand. I longed to have what she had. But when I looked closer at her, I realized that the speaker was me. God was showing me a picture of where I was. I didn't understand his love. I had been serving him for over 20 years, writing about him, preaching about him, but I really didn't understand his love. I was trying to earn his love. But he was also giving me a picture of his desire, not only for me, but for everybody, to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God loves us. And this is what he did in the midst of my most difficult season of life, is I learned the Father's love. He loves people so much, and he wants to touch each one's life. And I want those people watching the helpline to hear that right now because you're, you're, God is not forsaken you. No. Just because of the circumstance or the trial that you're going through right now, whether it's sickness like Teresa experienced, God has not forsaken you. That's right. His love is right there by your side, yes. even at this moment. Our circumstances and our suffering, no matter what we're going through, will never, ever change God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He will never change, but He is His Word, and God will change our circumstances. It's just in the fullness of His time. Trace, tell us, tell us quickly. Tell us. And listen, friends, you've got to go to HelplineTV.com, and you've got to get extraordinary miracles in the lives of ordinary people. Her complete story, which we're only just getting the tip of the iceberg here, is in this incredible book. Tell us, how did you get healed? You're you know, sitting here oh, today in perfect health. You know this. Yes. <laughs> On April 11th, this book arrived at my door. On April 12th, I woke up with a very bad migraine headache, and I was supposed to go to a ministry meeting over in Post Falls, Idaho. And I debated about going because of this headache. My husband was just getting into town, but I was compelled to go, and I went. At this meeting, uh, Cynthia Steele was speaking. I had never met her before. And after she preached, she called her team up. She had a team of three women there to pray. This was a home meeting. There were only about 20 people there. She called her team up. One of the gals called me. She motioned for me to come up, and she said, God has told me to pray for your healing. Now, I had received lots of prayer up yes. to that point. Prayer was not a new thing, but God had told her to pray for my healing. And she prayed the most. She said, just lift your hands and re to receive. And she prayed by the Spirit of God into all the different things in my body. She couldn't have possibly known. Nobody knew what I was going through other than my doctors and my husband and my close friends. And uh, then uh, Prophetess Steele had spoken a very lengthy and accurate uh, word over my life and ministry. Well, I went, when I sat back down in my seat, a woman at the meeting, uh, Faye Higby, had handed me a note, and it said, you are worthy by the righteous blood of the Lamb. You are a golden princess of the Most High God, and that is the platform from which you will operate from this day forward, healed, blessed, and chosen.